What's hopping, everyone? So today is the last day of Robot in one week. So our plan for today is to finish stringing our linear slide, adding it uh, and adding our pulley. And we figured out that our hooks weren't exactly perfect, so we're also going to be fixing that. So yeah, today's going to be finishing touches and making sure everything's all good. have discovered a few problems. Okay, um, so the hooks are on the wrong way as you probably saw in a bunch of pictures before this. Uh, we have to flip that in order to reach it and we also have to put it back because there's a stopper on the side we want to climb from. So basically the plan now is that we're going to climb from the back. Another problem we had is on the linear slides. So the pulleys are having a hard time getting on and making sure that they're fully attached. Also we have to move the actual uh, spool for the climbing hooks because we're moving the position of everything. So yeah we've had a few problems but we'll overcome it today. Uh, we we used a a surg uh, some surgical tubing to get the retraction mo um, motion, and uh, as uh, Konark and Arya and Ethan helped us with earlier, we used uh, the string to get the extending motion. So what we have done recently is add another motor at the back, which we're gonna encode to this one. We'll use an encoder wire to connect it to this one. So they're gonna be moving in opposite directions so that it can move out and in, and we'll have a force pushing inwards to maybe perhaps reach the high run. Um, what we did was we added a beam from this side to this side of the shaft so that uh, we didn't have that constant problem of the shaft falling out of the axle or off this side. Uh, second thing we did was over here, um, we flipped the hub because um, how we had it before, we had the two pre-built shafts on the hub through the two fixed holes. And um, since there was a little bit more space on the shaft, it kept wobbling. So we just flipped it and used the threaded holes on the hub so that it'd be more secure. We worked on the wrist. We attached a shaft onto the actual claw arm and then attached it onto the arm the slider. It slides up with the pulley system we have rigged up here. Two pulleys. Um, and we're gonna attach a gear that Pavitra is right, working on right now to these two gears. And once we attach it, the servo is gonna make sure the wrist comes up and down so it can pick up the species. All right, let's get this interview. How excited are you for this season's robot? 100! What's your name and occupation? Uh, hello, my name is Usair. I'm a professional robotics kid with no life. How hyped are you for this year's robot? Extremely hyped. Hello everyone. Thank you for watching and keeping up with our updates so far. Our team has made a lot of progress this year. And in this season, we've been able to create a full chassis, working arm, and a great claw. Now, let's see that in action. So this has been our robot for our robot in one week. So I just wanted to share a few important things that could be used for your robot and also useful that should have been done on this. So what uh, we could do is for your robot, since we have to raise our arm really high, uh, what you want to do is to make sure that the arm ha has enough torque to raise it. You should add a counterbalance to the end of this. So with that, it makes it a lot easier to raise because there's also an equal weight on this side. So with that, you can get to positions. Also, another thing for the arm is to create a break. So what a break does is, instead of just raising it to the position you want and then uh, dropping, what you should do is bring it up to the position you want, 
make it so that the motors are holding that position and then you can uh, keep moving on because that was one thing that was quite difficult to aim for this season. Another thing is if you end up having a wrist like this, make sure it has enough torque to be able to move the actual intake and make sure that it moves in very slow increments so that it has enough precision. Uh, these were just a few improvements that could be made and also a few things that you could apply to your own robots. So that's been it for this week or this year's robot in one week. So stay tuned for next year and upcoming videos. Bye.